There's an ocean between us, blanket of sky. I'm on my way to see ya. One way or another, it's a bumpy ride. It's flying and falling, you feel the same in me. Between us, spending a time. You would be wrong to call it pay. Hello, everybody. Don't know why I said that. Anyways, um, welcome to next vlog after a week pause. Um, where to start? You know, lots of things was happening in the last two slash three weeks. Uh, obviously, in my last video I was uh, telling you about I'm being stressed work and I kind of continued um I have been made redundant it's actually official from today from this morning um I still have mixed feelings obviously it came out of nowhere even though I know for the last two slash three weeks there's a possibility and if I'm completely honest I thought I would be one of them but uh, not the greatest thing, especially when I have my big trip planned, uh, my trip to Japan. So, you know, anxiety is on, stress is on, I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, um, don't know very what to say. Um... I think I'm still gonna have mixed feelings because on one side I'm like okay it sucks balls and it's not the best timing but on the other hand I'm like do you know what it's actually quite good it's kind of blessing from the sky because I'm not gonna lie I haven't been enjoying my job recently anyways so you know when you have kind of like the thoughts because I would be literally working for this company for two years in beginning of June, so in like a month time. So usually around that two years mark, people start thinking, okay, is this job really good for me? Am I progressing? Am I getting paid enough? Uh, yeah, did did that. So obviously I had the thoughts being like, okay, I'm gonna be hitting two years. What's next? Like, do, can I essentially progress in this role? Will I get pay raise? Da, da, da. Obviously pay raise wouldn't be an option. Even if I stayed, even if I wouldn't been make redundant because clearly the business is not doing super well. Um, but hey, it is what it is. You know, so many people being done redundant, and this is actually not my first time. I was, in my previous role, I got re uh, I was made redundant as well, but I got offered a different role, which I accepted. And then after three months, I decided, okay, this is not a role for me and I will find something else, which was my current job. So, yeah, it sucks. It's quite exciting in the same time as well. And luckily, I am on garden leave as well. So I have some time to, you know, reset myself, have a proper thing, what I want to do, what I don't want to do. Um... What's going to be my next steps, you know, now essentially the world is my oyster. So I might go travel. Am I going to move out of UK? I, am I going to go home? I have no idea. So we'll see. We'll see. I have a couple of months to figure out. So and, you know, applying for a job. See, I did that, did that. So it'll be fun. Also, it's not the best timing when you look at it from a uh, job market because it's uh, almost May and usually April, May is not the best timing. It's the summer, it's usually the worst time to try to get a job. Uh, usually it works best around like September, that's usually when the then people are back from holidays, you know, more positions, opens, etc. So 
we'll see. I've already spent uh, last weekend on LinkedIn. So I went out to actually a new coffee shop, which was quite nice. It was in Holborn. Very like, you know, I have, I have to say, I felt really productive because I can see all the people, actually younger people, either studying or like working on their like startups and etc. And it was like very motivating, which I was like, cute. So I spent a couple of hours there being productive. Uh, I updated my CV and updated my LinkedIn and all that stuff. So that was quite nice actually. But still, you know, the last three weeks, honestly, it was nice, like kind of be constantly on the edge with am I gonna be made redundant will I continue to have a job uh still performing in my job and you know the mental health was kind of uh, su uh suffering so we just need to now reset gonna take a couple of days off obviously I'm gonna do kind of what I want to do I guess um I still have a month left for my gym so am I gonna be just am I gonna be smashing gym every day because now I can go in middle of the day when it's uh, not busy which is quite nice and yeah I'm just gonna take it day by day week by week figure out what to do obviously I'm gonna update you as well what's happening um I as a as a form of therapy and uh, de-stressing I ordered more clothes uh, for spring summer so I th think they're gonna be delivered Thursday or Friday this week so hopefully next video will be finally at the hall also I have the H&M I have a, a pair of shoes um and hopefully I can keep something from the new order so I actually ordered from George at Asda the Asda brand, uh, they had sale. They had actually quite nice uh, pieces, so hopefully I can fit in those. <laughs> we will see. And yeah, so that's basically it. It's very short and sweet. Uh, not a crazy video. And basically just an update. What's going on? What's happening? And how I'm basically going to be dealing with making being how I'm gonna deal with being made redundant so I guess uh it's gonna be a new series mine are gonna be a London Diaries be redundancy diaries I don't know but um yeah I think I'm a bit delusional as well because as I said it's mixed feeling it's kind of excitement on one side on another side pure panic what I'm gonna be doing for next couple months, uh, months before my trip, but it will be fine. It will be fine. I figure it out. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you next week for another adventures. Bye. Patience,